All right, race fans, we are back for week three, I guess, of the WWZ hosted summer interim series for PCA Sim Racing. We are at Zandvoort, lovely beach. Um, fun track. Um, it's got a lot of flowing curves, a lot of turns. Um, I have a mixed experience with this track. I've done well here. I've also um, had some misfortune here um, where I had a good race going and uh, just stayed on the brakes too long and wound up spinning out in, in a critical corner and um, sometimes when you're in the heat of battle you lose sight of your head and sight of your head is that even a thing but lose your head lose sight of the goal and wind up uh, causing yourself more grief than you really do and uh, this trek really uh, allows for that you can get caught up in the moment and wind up missing a breaking point or holding the brakes too long because you're trying to stay off the bumper of the car in front of you challenging track bottom line um i my own expectations i'm expecting hopeful for at least a top five finish here um, I don't expect to be a dominant car here, um, maybe in the top three or four um, in terms of lap speed, um, but overall performance, I'm probably going to be a little bit conservative tonight simply because I want to keep the car in under me and, uh, and finish uh, with as few incident points as I can manage. So that's the strategy going in. We'll see how I execute. Again, getting caught up in the moment is definitely a characteristic of this track, and at least me on this track. So we, we shall see. Um, sit back and uh, enjoy. And if you do like this video, go ahead and click like. Um, if you have not already done so, click on subscribe and you'll be notified of when I release new videos. Not only am I tracking this series, but I'm also uh, in the iRacing official GT3 Challenge Fixed series on a weekly basis. And tomorrow I'll be um, doing some work on that and we'll publish uh, another video. So if you're interested in either series, um, specifically the Porsche GT3R is what, what I'm driving in both series. Um, if you like that car and you like different tracks, um, we're at Spa GT3 Fixed Series this week. Um, so that's, that's a fun track. We just did the team event for PCA Sim Racing at Spa. Um, so it's always a fun track to watch uh, some good racing. Um, and then of course, Zandvoort is an amazing track. So we hope that this will be entertaining for you as well. So again, please enjoy and uh, Without further ado, here's the race. Okay, qualified P2 uh, behind David Palmer, and uh, Matt Mardini is right behind me. So uh, the three of us qualified in the 136s, so not bad. Um, standing start, so we'll see how that goes. And uh, away we go. P2, the air temp is 65 Fahrenheit. Okay, Chip, get ready. Green, green, green. Son of a bitch! And so ends my good race. Shit. Just a little too wide.
Fuck. You're running last. First to last. Damn it. Follow me, I follow. Just overcooked that exit just a hair, and uh, that's all she wrote. has just done a 136.78. Your lap time was 137.10. Sector one time is good. The track temperature is rising. It's now 77 Fahrenheit. Okay, Jip, we're gaining on the car in front. The gap is now 7.9 seconds. They're slow into Tarzanbot. Looks like P5's gone off in Tazenbach. Yellow flag, caution, that's the fastest lap. Our refueling window will open after 10 minutes and closes after 25 minutes.
Sector three times quick. You're reeling this car in. The gap's now 2.3 seconds. He's pretty slow into the chicane. Sector 1 is 0127 off the pace. There's an incident in Cheer Flag. God, God damn it! Incident in turn 9. It looks like Williams will need to pit for repairs. We've been called in by the stewards. Yellow flag, keep your wits about you, mate. Watch your speed. The pit lane speed limit is 37 miles per hour. We'll need to stop again to get to the end. 300 feet. 100 feet. The pit exit is clear. Push now.
Sector one is quick. Setting the pace, that last lap was at 137.14. Okay, Chip, that's good consistency. Keep it up. Setting the pace from behind. Time's okay. Sector two time is quick. right now.
10th position. Thanks, Jim. Really helpful. You're trying to make me cry? minutes to go 20 minutes all right chip we're halfway home we estimate 16 minutes of fuel remaining Track temps increasing, it's now 81 Fahrenheit. Sector 1 is quick. Williams behind is pitting now. Spitting. Okay, Chip, the next car is Morgan. Morgan in the gap is 7.7. They're slower than us into Sheerflack. behind the gaps now 16 seconds with p6 you've got half your fuel left there's an incident in turn two looks like it's williams
the leader, Palmer, is pitting. We think P5 has binned it in the chicane. Okay, okay Jeff, 15 minutes left, that's 15 minutes. Okay, thank you. I think I tapped you. place to pass on this track. That's the bad part about not being in the lead anymore. Okay, Chip, this bastard's holding you up. You've got to find a way past. Watch your speed. We'll fuel you to the end of the race. I'm not going to get by him, so I might as well just go ahead and finish my last pit. Because I need 300 feet. 100 feet. on pit exit, you can push now. The gap in front has increased, it's now about 4.6.
OK, Jet. Ten minutes to go. That's ten minutes left. Nice and smooth with that throttle. Keep it balanced. Tenth position. Son of a bitch. Get off there. Okay, Chip, you're gaining on the guy in front. The gap is 10 seconds. Ten minutes of fuel remaining. Oh, let's go ahead of me. <laughs> 
Chip. All right, Chip. Five minutes to go. Five minutes left. Consistency. Keep them coming. Sector 3 time is fast. Push, push, push. We can get this guy. Incident in. Share flag. Yellow flag. Good things come to those who wait, I guess. Although, of all the people to pass, I really didn't want to pass Val. She deserves a good finish. The gap behind is now 6.6 .6 seconds. P9. to go, two minutes. Sector 2 is 0 0.30 off the pace. Alright Chip, five minutes of fuel remaining, five minutes.
White flag, one more lap. Sector three times okay. There's an incident in Shevlak. Just two minutes left, two minutes to go. There's an incident in Thousandbocht. It looks like Morgan. Incident in turn two. We think it might be Williams. He ate. Okay, it's over. Well, I guess if nothing else, I gave a clinic in how to screw up a good thing. That first lap was just heartbreaking, as I had a second lead on uh, on everybody, the entire pack, and just got a hair over aggressive on my exit from the chicane. Rear tire touched dirt, and around she went, and I couldn't catch her. So sad um but you know when stuff like that happens with such a small group of cars a small grid like that um i had to sit there and let everybody buy because everybody was packed in nice and tightly it was still first lap um so the rest of the race was about trying to recover um but unfortunately uh, it just uh, didn't go my way tonight i did manage to finish seventh um, i got the fastest lap of the race which was good uh 136 471 um, which was good. Uh, that's a, that was faster than the club fastest race or fastest lap um, this race. So um, a pretty decent outcome from that perspective. I mean, I definitely had the car um, and uh, had the pace, but uh, did not have the first lap that I needed to uh, get through and uh, um, get some good points. Although um, right now, as it stands, if we actually look um, at the outcome, um, didn't affect me too badly in the standings. But let's take a quick look here. Uh, David Palmer, um, everything except for the start. Uh, David had a little bit of a rough start um, where we got uh, the jump, both Matt and I um, got off the line and passed him. Um, of course, David had made up uh, a lot of that ground uh, just before the chicane. I think he had overtaken Matt um, and had recovered the second place at least. Um, and then, of course, when I went around, he took first back. Um, great race for him overall, though, um, with getting the pole position and having a zero incident race, which an amazing accomplishment on this track, because as uh, the car changes over the course of the race, um, if you don't keep up with it, uh, this track can definitely bite you. And so a zero incident race is definitely an accomplishment. So congrats on both of those and the win. Um, Avajit um, came in second, which is great. Carl Bocchieri, um rounded out the podium. So good races for the three of them. Um, everybody, I think, on track had some issues tonight. <laughs> um, and so the people that managed to keep it as clean as possible and uh, and stick to their guns did did a, a really, really good job. Um, and uh, that's, that's just how it goes. Um, so if we actually look at the standings and where that puts me, because I, I did manage to get the bonus point for the fastest lap, um, well, this is my drop. Um, so if we look at the 
the way the standings are laying out is that uh, the lowest points race for anybody that's completed in all the races so far is the drop race tonight was mine, um, which leaves me at second. Um, I am um, a close um, three points behind David, um, and then four points behind me, we have Volker and Keith um, are, are back at 115. So tight race. Still anybody's game. Um, we'll see how uh, the rest of things uh, kind of pan out as we go through and uh, get to Belle Isle next week, Detroit, which will be a lot of fun. Um, just a quick update on the rest of the races that happened uh, tonight. Um, we had our, our pro guys um, raced tonight, and uh, the Hoth brothers um, <laughs> did really, really well. Um, looks like uh, James got uh, all three bonus points for fastest lap pole position and a zero incident race and Mark um, got a zero incident race. So these guys cashed in. Um, these guys are fun to watch race and fun to talk to um, in general. James is of course uh, our chief EDE instructor for PCA Sim Racing and is just the most fun guy to just chat with. Um, so so uh, it's always good to see him win races um, because he, he definitely is uh, the gentleman racer. Um, uh, and uh, it's, it's just good to see him have some success. Stephen Shin holding down for WWZ with the, uh, the final step on the podium. Um, that's really good for him. Um, in the club race, um, looks like um, um, Matt and his son um, showed up uh, and raced tonight. Adnan um, Mardini is uh, Matt Mardini's son. And um, he actually, he got pole position and the fastest lap of the race in club. Uh, Randall Ayers and uh, Brian Granger wrapped up the podium in club. Um, and if we look at challenge, um, Scott Rogers, congratulations to him, got the pole position and uh, won the race. Robert Benson in second, Jason Sherwood in third. Looks like um, no one in challenge got a zero incident race, so no extra points there. But we have uh, Mark Bergstrom got the fastest lap, um, so gets that point as well. If we look at uh, how things wrap up for those other classes. Um, we can see that uh, James and Mark are one and two and Steven is three um, in total points um, for pro. In club, Rob Cottle holds down the fort at the top of uh, the club standings with his performance in race one and race two. Um, he, he had a little bit of a challenge tonight, as did I. Um, so uh, it is what it is, right? Um, he is actually tied with Oregon uh, Gerlap at the top there, um, who had a, a decent race tonight as well. Randall Ayers, of course, uh, um, on the podium, um, rounding out the, the top three there in club. And if we look at challenge, um, Scott Rogers, Mark Bergstrom, Greg Palmer at the top of the seat here. Um, so um, it's a tight race in, in all of these classes. So it's a fun series. It's going to be interesting to see how things shape up, especially as we get into the deeper tracks. Um, we got we got some some interesting tracks coming up. Um, our entire um, uh, setup here is we have um, Belle Isle and Detroit coming up um, on the 30th. We have Hockenheim Ring on August 6th and Olton Park on August 13th, Montreal on August 20th, and then of course we're gonna round up with a nice oval at Indy um, on August 27th. So we still got a lot of racing to do. So uh, three races in, it's looking fun, it's looking tight. Um, we'll see how it shapes up as we go along. I hope you've enjoyed the, the video. Um, if you have, please do click like if you wanna be notified of any uh, videos uh, as I release them, please click on subscribe. I, of course, welcome comments, um, especially those that are giving me sympathy and flowers for, <laughs> for a, a, a race uh, um, where I stick my own shoe in my mouth. And um, I hope you'll come back uh, for, for the race next week. Thank you very much for joining and have a, have a good rest of your whatever it is that you're in the middle of right now. Day, night, whatever. Thanks. Bye. Spaß machen Rennsport.